Okay, I want to say hi again everybody. How are you doing and welcome to another video Now last night I didn't get the best sleep, you know um, I got about un under three hours sleep. I, I even made a video where I was Laying in bed and I was like just waking up and I was talking to you guys, you know uh, Yesterday I was working out very hard and I'm very tired now. Actually my legs are very tired so I did a bit of stretching earlier on you know I've been stretching a little tiny bit I wasn't going to do anything but that's what I'm like you know I force myself I have to do some stretching every day now you can see I've got my punch bag set up here and I like to train um, punch bag but you know me myself I mean I got this punch bag this freestanding punch bag for one reason one reason mainly I mean, you can, I can do all of my martial arts training on the bag, different martial arts, but really it's just for striking and I thought I want to improve just my basic hands, you know, like um, striking, like boxing basically, boxing training, uh, basic boxing. Uh, first of all, I want to just loosen up my arms a little bit, but I'm not going to go all out in this video, okay? Like you've seen other videos of mine where I'm going really like harder into the bag and really really working out hardcore in some of my other videos yeah you would have seen but um in this video i'm just gonna do a few basic drills and stuff you know and have some simple training good training but i'm not gonna sweat it out and go mad i want to do a bit of training on it just loosening up a little bit here to get myself ready you know but yeah um today workout wise i'm not doing my full-on top to bottom stretch workout and strength and all that anyway i'm taking it easy because i'm really tired from yesterday but still i thought i want to go on the bag a little bit i'm going to make some more bag videos anyway i really advise people to get um, a bag like this okay uh if you can if you don't have like, a punch bag in general you know um if you've got a bit of space a little bit of space you know at least it's good to have one of these. It really, really is. I'm so, so happy I've got this. Very happy. It's weighted down. The actual bag itself fits into the bottom part, which is, and that's filled with water. You can fill it with water or sand, but water would be the easier option. Um, it does move a little bit, you see, when it moves. It's not super, super heavy, like a heavy, heavy bag. I like really heavy bags, really, usually, but... But it's good because you can put it anywhere. Um, it's got these like suction cup things at the bottom too you can attach, but I didn't attach them. But what I've got, um, I will say, it does make some noise when you're hitting it. It will like wobble and hit the floor. So what I've got is I've got a big old bed sheet and I've wrapped it all around. You see here, can you see that? How I've tied that around the bottom there. The bed sheet all around there, tied around it. Makes it soft so I can push it around. It doesn't make such a loud noise when it hits the floor as such, you know. Uh, other thing I want to say, another thing I want to say is I've got two, uh, good thing to lean on. Don't put your whole weight on it, but, <laughs> but I was going to say another thing um, I've got is like a pair of, um, they're actually MMA gloves. I don't like MMA at all. Like I must have fucking can't stand MMA, excuse my language. None of this modern day, you know, anything that this modern day stuff, I'm saying this modern day martial arts where they say the old traditional stuff was bullshit and the new stuff's the real deal. Yeah, they're tough fighters, yeah, and athletes, I have no doubt about it. And yes, there is bullshit out there, like there is in, the, in any, a lot of things. But the truth is, the traditional art martial arts of old were so, so superior. It's unbelievable. But yeah, let's just talk about, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm an excellent fighter or anything, you know. In this day and age, the scary thing is um, MMA is like the best stuff out there and the most popular like stuff you can find. It's probably easier to find a school with it does MMA and that, you know. But MMA, literally, comparing the two, MMA versus original ancient martial arts, you must be fucking kidding. But you might turn around and say, well, that's my point of view. Just look at the videos online. You see countless people getting beaten up by MMA fighters. Fair enough, you say that. But that's not the real deal, okay? It's not the real deal. And, and it sounds like I'm making excuses and that's all I'm doing. Or I'm living in Kung Fu land, watching Kung Fu movies all the time in a dream world. And you can say whatever you want to say. But I know for a fact 
just by what I know about the traditional martial arts myself, even. And who the hell am I? I'm not even like the most physique. You don't see, I don't look like some big muscle man or whatever. I'm not a tough guy. Or I'm not even some master of the traditional martial arts, even. But I've been training all my life. I've looked into them. I know what works. It's just from what I know. And then in real life in general, if you're looking at the ancient knowledge, the wisdom, the traditional martial arts you could use to kill, uh, you know, it's just no comparison to the to the MMA uh, stuff. But anyway, I'm talking too much now, but I've got two uh, sets of MMA gloves. MMA gloves have got black pair and also a blue pair. My blue pair is put away now. But, um, you know, I like to train wearing them sometimes, but I like to train with bare hands too, and what I want to do is I've got a pair of dumbbells too, I'm going to start working out with them as well, you know, to uh, more, to get some more power in my arms. There's things you can do to work power into your arms, obviously push-ups, pull-ups, and whatever people want to do, but I'm just saying, like, um, you haven't got to be the most muscly person in general anyway, I mean, but you've got to have some power in your arms, fair enough. I've trained my legs for many years doing kicking and stuff a lot, you know, uh, I train a lot of Wing Chun, as I say, Wing Chun, Kung Fu, as I say, in general, and, and Kung Fu techniques. But the thing is, this bag, I got this bag for my basic boxing, really. I mean, you can do your elbows and all that in it as well, and your Muay Thai and your knees and kicks, whatever. You know, I kick with the feet. I don't kick with the shoes, as I say. Okay. I'm just saying, okay, like, the thing I want to say is, like, you know, with the um, fists, okay, with the punching part, I like to go bare fists as well. I train on anything like trees and concrete walls and poles and things as well to strengthen my arms and my hands. I'm not going full at it because you're going to break break yourself. But I'm saying training on, on a wall is, is good training, gradually controlling it and doing certain kinds of training is very, very good to see your strength. But, you know, a bag like this is going to give a bit more. It's like, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, it depends how you look at it. It's just different kinds of training. You're putting different kind of control through your arm into your fist. But definitely, it beats uh, training on thin air all the damn time. You know what I mean? Now, I believe, right, in a fighting situation, whoever you are, you could be of a smaller build. So it's the thing. You get people with different builds. You might not be the most muscly person. I believe anyone can learn some self-defense. See, you could be a woman with, like, a smaller frame build, and, you know, how would you be able to fight? How, are you still able to throw strikes in? What do you say? Oh, you don't punch, you just give up on training because you're not the gym, uh, you know what I mean, muscle man, fucking, uh, what you could, um, weightlifting or whatever it is, MMA, lean and all that. Whatever it is, no, I mean, you can still train your power. We're not messing around. Palms to the face, punch. Elbow hitting, what power can you deliver from your body? I mean, even, you know, no matter what you do, I mean, you're still going to have a different build to other people in general anyway. And that's all it's about, really. So you've got blocking in martial arts, blocking and covering, but you've also got the striking. I got this bag to help me with my striking training, my focus. Okay, just focus and alignment of hitting a target. And aligning and helping myself focus on basics. So I'm doing my Wing Chun chain punch, but I mean it's really for the boxing, just to work my basic boxing, you know. Okay. Please excuse me for a second, but that's why I got this my basic boxing, you know. Getting the fidgets here, stretching my feet in positions, you know. I got this really for the, my alignment and my jabs. See, I even get into like almost like a boxing stance when I'm doing it, see. So I'm doing that light here. We're focusing the alignment, so it's working naturally. And, that, and I think it's good training. Just do the basic jab, see? Jab, cross, jab, cross, body shot, body shot, whatever, hooks. I'm doing, I used to do it more this way, but I found it's more better to do it that way, I find. Jab, cross, hook, all that. Jab, cross, or doing those, boom, boom, boom. Bring your body in, you can get the body shots, body hooks, head hooks, and then going in for like a more karate kind of, that like solidly going, that kind of thing, but with the guard up. I always have an open hand here, that's a, that's a reflex I've got from my wing chun here, I've always got two hands guarding, see, so as I'm doing that, I've been thinking about parrying or guarding here, like karate or kung fu on the side, you know, see, 
closer range throw. You can throw palms here, elbows, if you can do forearm strikes. But just just close range. And as I'm moving around with my footwork, I'm doing such small stances. I'm not doing fancy big positions like Kung Fu and wide stances like you see me training in different times. I'm just moving around it and thinking in a natural way how can I fight? Because I do a lot of wing chun anyway to block and cover and stuff up with my hands, you know. But I think really this is mainly for alignment. You're going to have a guard anyway, whatever kind of guard you do, Muay Thai or whatever. But really it's about coming in. And, you know, you can put your knees there as a guard as well, protecting your groin, you're using that. You can throw your low knees in kicks or whatever you want to do in there. But, but I think really, as I said, this is for the striking. So I think there's two important things, two main important things when you are striking. One is power. Obviously, speed, precision, accuracy, power, focus, all that stuff. But I'm saying two kind of things you want to train. And really, I'm saying this, right? When you're working on your basic punches and strikes with your hands to a person, let's say to a face, when you're training that to really, for a person, this is for training on a person. You're training this so that in real life, if you strike, you're going to have effective angling and hopefully power so really what you're doing is you you want to train for speedy powerful knockout shots or the best punches you can uh hitting and then the other thing you want to train for is blitzing combos because one thing i see right and i see this in the mma as well i've seen this a lot i watch i've watched boxing fights karate fights uh, actual real fights i'm saying muay thai and stuff online and MMA, I don't watch a lot of MMA, but I watch the MMA stuff and I've seen some of the best fighters in MMA, like top, like up to date stuff. And I've seen them just come in and they're like, you don't want to run into someone's fist, but it's always like one, two, then they're bouncing around, you know, and they're doing another one. Whereas if you see in some of my other videos, I'm not, I'm not going to go crazy in this video, but um, I like it when they go, I like to. Blitz, I mean, blitz a combo, not tapping tip tap shit again, but it's like coming in with every punch, it's like a knockout, and it's got that like a machine gun literally going in, you know. So, what I mean is, you might throw a punch, you know, to it, <coughs> or because if you can land that first punch, they're gonna be stunned by it, if not knocked out. I mean, it'll, that's gonna do some damage, and if the door's open. If you hit and then you come back and you move it, they're gonna get they're gonna have a chance to recover for even in that second. They can even be hurt but still come at you fighting. It's gotta be one, two, right? And it's gotta be twenty of those if you can. <laughs> That's how I see it. But I don't see people able to move that fast. You see people athletes for saying it's a proper MMA, MMA people, they make me look like shit, but you see boxers and MMA people with some people on the speed ball, speed bag, boom, 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 coming in, boom, 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 But they can't do it. It doesn't seem like in a real fight, they never do that. You're afraid you're going to kill the guy, what I don't know what it is. There's some reason you're not able to punch at that speed, or what is it? You know what I mean? That's what, that's what blows my mind. They don't actually fight in that. This is me, a nobody, speaking about MMA top fighters who can't even do that. If you can do that, why don't you do that? Look, say for example, I'm, I'm not even warmed up even enough, but I'll show you what I mean. It's someone's head here, okay? So... And that was like nothing really, you know? It was nothing really, but I'm saying like... Because I'm, I'm, I'm not even warmed up, you see, I'm not even really warmed up. I'm not even, my breathing's not really, I'm not really like, you know, warmed up. See? see? Really gonna warm yourself up a bit better, you know? I'm saying like, I'm saying like everyone's gonna knock out, see? One, two, three, go in, so do a boom, 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 see? Everyone's gonna be like continuously one, two, three, not stopping. Not, not one, two, or one, 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 
No, it should be. His face is here. He's. Yourself. I'm talking to you here in the video. Yeah. It's um. Uh, see, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to control my breathing because I'm talking to you here. I'm not even ready. I've an under three hours sleep. I'm not even in great, great um mode. I've not warmed up enough, and I'm not, you know, in that great. Uh, I'm not even warmed up enough. I'm like, I'm trying to catch my breath talking here. But I'm saying if you're ready and you're really fit and doing your fitness training every day and you're in great shape, I mean, I'm going to do more of this anyway. But you know what I'm saying? You're going to get mugged on the street or something. For example, you're not really going to just go on and hope for the best. If his face is there, one, why are you your one? Look at him more. Go. Continue. One, two, three, four, six, seven. And everyone's got to be a proper. And it's not. Everyone has got to fucking knock him out. You know what I'm saying? So he's there setting him up. You don't want to have to punch the face. Guard against the hands. Okay, he's here. Head. Okay, gut shot. Oh, go around the other side. You want to work the body, work the head and all that stuff cover here. But really, if his face is open, if let's say he comes to hit me, if I see the face there, if I can get one, that's enough to slow him down, stun him, hurt him, right? This one here is enough, and it should be a knockout anyway. Add in the knockouts as he's going down, more of a knockout. But the thing is, as you're going in, why don't you, if you can throw one, why, why not throw two? If you can throw one, like you might say, if you can throw two, then why doesn't one do the job? But the thing I'm trying to say is, if you, you know, if you train your adrenaline, you do a lot of running or skipping, whatever you do, running up the hills, and you're good adrenaline, good breathing, and you're in great shape, and you're doing a lot of work, you know, you know, then why can't you save your energy for the moment, when you get the right, Rather than dancing around the whole fucking time, dancing around the ring, trying to guard against this and that and fight, you know, and trying to catch your breath and thinking about it, fight game and all the rest of it, having to defend, the whole thing about the fight, the fight, the fight, the fight. I know it's just theory, I'm me talking a pussy, yeah. but I'm saying, in reality, right, if in the ring or on the street, someone's face is right there. If you're able to get that first hit in, why would you keep the distance to come back? If you're able to go the first hit and the second one can just come straight after you, see? So it's not one, two, it's one, two, see? see, see one, two, straight away, see? And she, one, two, three, see? Oh, two as three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, see? It's coming straight in. Ten, see? So, so. You know, when, when one comes, when one hits, the other one's already hit, see? As you come in, see, you go one, two, three. So it's not one, two, three. It's one, two, three. Blah, blah, blah. So three and it should be like 10 of them, 20 of them. Just constantly, constantly, it's like a barrage, a machine gun. His face is there on target. You 
everyone you know, to the face. And it's like you try to drive the power straight through the, the target. So it's like one, two, elbow, whatever it is. See, not one, two, here, and he hits me. Gotta be, <laughs> hits me. See, see, this guy? You come straight. And see, one, two. See, this is moving a bit. It's moving a bit too much. I'm saying, well, oh, here's it. It's got to be, boom, as this one's leaving, that one hits. As you're covering, the same thing you don't want to cover and then hit. You want to cover and hit at the same time. You know? So, yeah. Here's some of my thoughts, okay? And you want to get them shots in, you know, <coughs> the heavy, try to go for them heavy, Shots as well, you know. So I'm better at doing hooks with my right hand. My right hook is much better than my left hook, I'll tell you that. Look at your fist. Look at your fist, see. I'm definitely better with my right hook than my left but you know you've got to work on it you know so I like to hold it in place too like when I block and cover like here <laughs> what can I see when you do an elbow are you just gonna hit me it's got to go really splash into the target you know what I mean see not like this, here back for a show and go. It's got to go straight into it. But really try and, if it's a real person, you're really going to try and do it, you know. You can take him down, take him down, wherever it's going to be. If his face is in range, hold it. Whatever it is, rib cage, face, back fist, and then you whip that in. See? Guarding the whole time, is he guarding? Guarding the whole time. Is he going in? Can you see? Do you think it's in there? There's no use in going one, two, here, back, and there's no space. He hits me first. I would cover in the whole time. Whatever's coming, my body here, my head here, and hitting, see? Already sweating a bit now, even. So. But the, I'm not even doing proper working out at the moment, I'm just showing you a few things. But uh, let's imagine, okay? So I'm here. Got these stances, as if I didn't stance, see? But the truth is, in a real fight, his face is open. I want to go straight through, see? Go straight through the target, so to speak. In terms of your mind focus, see? It shouldn't be strong, soft, strong. It should be strong, strong, straight away. <coughs> this is a knockout. To everyone, you know, everyone, you've got to be like, you palm, whatever it is, so you fast enough to come in. Yeah. Yeah. Give him no time. Think about what's going on. Where's the next attack coming from? How should I get ready? Turn, where is he? You know? Don't let the person think about and understand you. Just literally 
Bam, 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 helicopter. Bop, 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 bop. To shut him up. So he doesn't come back and try and fucking kill you. Rape you, torture you. Or hurt you badly. You want to stop him. You want to win. Because you don't want to lose. In one way. To this bastard. You know what I'm saying? But it comes from the training. So. You're going to throw an elbow. You're going to throw one punch. Why dance around? You can do more. You want to want throw one punch. You want to be accurate, right? The same as why exert yourself a mile away here, doing moves, trying to work out the, you know, when you can go straight in. Why throw an elbow when you miss him? See, you want to make sure you smother. So you might be coming to hit me. If I cover, his face is open. See, I'll throw another hit in or something. If I can hit him in the gut or whatever first, is. whatever it is. If I see an area open, cover, throw them a taxi. Be an elbow, it's an elbow. If his arm is grabbing onto me, if I can catch it, I'll catch it. Pull him in, whatever is locked down. But if his face is open to attack, I'll be throwing them, I mean, we should be throwing them punches in like a machine gun. To the to the target. Bop, 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 To the head. <laughs> no, no. I can do it. Straight to the head. With your fists. To the top. If his face is open, I'm not going to give him a chance to smile about the next one. He's thinking about what he's going to do. He's trying to think. His mind controls what he's going to do. So you're going to be faster. You've got to attack before he's already hurting you. Before he's already on top of you. You know? You got to smash that fucking distract him so much that he doesn't know he's gonna get knocked out five or six more times before he fucking realizes he's knocked out from the first one. You smash, you know, you turn off the computer and then you smash it to a thousand pieces. That's what you do. Go ahead. Fuck you in there, fucking joke. Come on, you know you're going. I know when I've been busting your throat. Chopping you down with the phone. Heads there. Runs into my elbow. Good. That's what he's doing. Come on, Tony. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Now I'm going to stop this one here. Getting a bit too sweaty already. I'm getting carried away.